Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection. Technology gain times four and five, and guess what's sitting against that wall? That is a Supreme 7 wallpaper screen sample. So we'll be doing that demonstration later on today outside, probably between eight and nine o'clock in the morning. Now, or six or seven, one of those times we'll be out there doing that demonstration. So anyway, what I wanna to talk to you about is the future of projection screens. Now, some people back in the day, white screens were all the rage, and when people started coming out with like the Gray Wolf, and I don't know if you remember the Gray Wolf projection screens, that's way back in the day, and you had screens like SL screens that were coming out with these great dark gray screens. A lot of people frowned upon them because they said, look, you know, white screen is the way to go. You know, it, it's, the, it's, it's nothing's gonna change. A gray screen will never be able to produce the white levels that a gray that a white no sorry gray screen would never be to produce the white levels that a, a white screen can produce but later on they realized in time that these gray screens had the ability to pull in better contrast better colors and they were able to reflect 10 times more light allowing you to use these screens in somewhat ambient lit environments all right so with that being said that's why when you go to a lot of businesses and companies white screens still exist because they've been around for quite a long time and it's kind of hard to get something like that completely out of circulation but at least a lot of people know now that the best way to go for hd is a gray screen now technology changes so now we developed a black screen now in our black technology of course we're going to get a little flack we're going to have people saying to us that well you know black screens can't produce high white levels you know it's not you know it's colors are going to come out too dark and so forth and so forth and everybody like i said anybody in this field is going to go through their fair share of ridicule because you're always going to have the naysayers out there or the haters are going to try to tear you down but what they don't realize is that check technology changes if that wasn't the case we'd still be using eight track players we still be using record players we would still be on atari 2600 if you know what i mean so change is good so just to show you exactly what i mean by when people come to me and say well you know your paint's a little pricey the reason why our paint's not pricey if you knew what our technology could do compared to some of the high-end screens out there on the market you would change your train of thought. Now, I'm gonna show you in this demonstration. I want you to watch it very carefully. Now, the projector I'm using over here, I brought downstairs, is my 1080p projector, 4,000 lumens. This is 1920 by 1200. This projector is WUXGA. This projector has a 12,000 to one contrast ratio. As I said before, it doesn't make a difference if you have 10, 12, 20, or 30. If you're using a light gray screen or a gray screen, and you're never going to be able to see that contrast. You will never utilize that from your projector, not ever. Now I'm going to show you the two screen paints we have done here. We have a Metallica mix and we have a personal mix. We also have the Supreme 7. Now this is the reason why back in the day, keep in mind, I used to develop. I'm not saying I didn't work with uh, light gray screen paints. Yeah, when I first screen paint, actually digital crystal screen paint was a light gray screen. Um, I had silver screens. I had dark gray screens. But when I started dabbling with black technology, I realized that if we can produce a screen that has both white levels and black levels at the same time, that would be the ultimate screen. All right, so first things first, let me show you what we got up against the uh, a wall. Now this is the wallpaper version of a Supreme, which I have right here, right there, Supreme 7. Over here, we have uh, the uh, Metallica Mix right here so that's a darker version of it right there and then we have the personal mix right there right here now next against all this we have an elite dark star 9 this is an elite dark star 9 now a lot of people don't know about elite dark star 9 some people do some people don't this is a luxury high-end screen that they developed it's a dark contrast screen that they have usually when you see elite screens you see lighter screens or um, um, such like this like so these are some of the sample sheets I gotta read by again but this is a gray cinema 5d you see lighter screens you know all lighter screens but like I said there are darker screens out there there's DMP supernova there's some very dark screens and then I think Seymour AV has something called a matinee black and then they have something called a uh, Seymour AV uh, 1.2 which is a dark the darker screens so Keep in mind, these companies are spending this money to do this research for black technology for darker gray screens. There must be a reason behind it. So I'm going to show you in this demonstration where our screen is going to come very close to matching a Dark Star 9. And keep in mind, a Dark Star 9 Prime Vision 
would cost you in the price range, and not to put the technology down, it's very beautiful, but it would cost you in the price range of $3,000 and up. It's not a cheap screen, and that's just for a 100 inch. So first things first, we're gonna remove, and we're gonna show you the star field. So we'll zoom up, and you can see where, of course, our technology being black, it's going to pull up contrast. The Dark Star 9 by Elite is going to pull up contrast. And then you see the two screen paints, which we have a Metallica mix, and the personal can't bring it up. It's just not going to happen. Now, some people may say, well, Ken, guess what? You got a lot of light in the environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the light in the environment, we'll put everything in pitch blackness, some dark, darken it up a little bit in here. All right. So those of you who are going to be using dedicated movie theaters, it's got to make you think if you're using a projector with a 12,000 to 1, and look at this, even with just a little bit of light hitting, you're still going to, not going to be to see. Uh, you're going to see a little bit of that gray popping up. So let's try to get as much light as possible, all the light, out of the environment. So it's nice and dark in here. Hopefully I don't trip over anything in the process when walking through. All right, so this is more than just saying, hey, look, I'm showing you facts. So if you get up close on the screen, because usually they do this from a distance. If you do this from a distance, they have a fighting chance of saying, hey, look, it produces the same black technology as a black screen. No, when you get up on top of it, you'll see the difference. Now, see the Dark Star 9, see how dark it is? There's our technology. Now, Dark Star 9 is not gonna be quite as dark as our screen. Screen's darker than the Dark Star 9, of course, because it's black. But if you get right up on the uh, lighter screens, uh, the Metallica Mix, you can see where right here, this is a light gray, even with a dark screen. This, this is making me dizzy. <laughs> I have no, you have no idea. This is a light gray and this is black. There's a difference between light gray. Now, the light gray right here in the um, personal mix, of course, is going to be lighter than the um, the Metallica mix. Now, turn the lights on. Now, keep in mind, the contrast screens are designed to cancel out light. Black screen cancels out light faster than a white screen. White screen reflects too much white light, and that makes the screen extremely bright. Causes the picture to wash out. A black screen can cancel out more light, or absorb more light, allowing you to be able to uh, maintain a picture without it washing out. I love how people do demonstrations, but they don't explain the science behind it because they don't know the science behind it. All right, so as you can see, the lights I put on the environment, what we're really getting. Now the only way you would have a survival chance of being able to use these two colored uh, dark gray screens and light screens is you would have to be in the dark in order to get a decent picture. But you would still see some traces of a lighter, more kind of a gray, kind of ashy kind of look to your blacks. Where a $3,000 Dark Star 9 can pull up black contrast, but yet these screen paints can't do it. Now, let's come over here. Well, now our screen paint's pulling up with no problem. Let's do another demonstration here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, I want you to look at this for a minute. It's 12,000 to 1 contrast on this screen. If you notice, blue is pushing up here on this screen. Blue is pushing up here, but these screens are completely washed out. This is what I mean by you have to be able to test your technology against other high-performance screens. Other than that, it's just everyday paint. Now, not to put down Elite Screen in any way, they make, they make amazing screens, but keep in mind, it's a $3,000 screen. This is 
$3,000 screen and here with our technology for 100, it's a 100 inch for 3,000 inch screen for our technology two quarts of a Supreme 7 would cost you somewhere in the price range of, um, of 300 I think what's the price we had for that I had the price for that thing. I don't know if I had it. It's around $368. I think it's around $368 for, for one quart. Now, one quart of that is going to paint a screen size from 100 inch to 120 inch. A Dark Star 9 with a 0 0.9 gain. And it does have a 0 0.9 gain. Let me show you real quick on the back of this so you can see this for yourself. See this? Up close. See how the image pops here, pops here, doesn't pop there. I'll show you the back of this screen. It has the specification. Yes, has a 0 0.9 gain. A 0 0.9 gain. That's on a Dark Star 9. Our screen has a 7. Our screen uses something called um, ambient light projection technology gain times 7. Now, keep in mind, we're at a 7. We can keep up with a screen that has a 0 0.9 gain where these screens right here completely wash out. Now if contrast was not important then you wouldn't have all these OLED demos. There is tons of OLED demos. There are demos just designed for black contrast. Everything you play, gaming, movies, sports, everything involves contrast. Contrast makes a difference whether the grass is going to be greener or the grass is basically going to fade out and look like nothing. You have to have contrast. Contrast adds deep, rich color to the picture. Without it, everything's washed out. That's why if you look at a white projection screen, everything is washed out on that screen. The minute you turn the lights on, everything just fades away. You have to have contrast. Now how is it that Elite Dark Star 9, a $3,000 projection screen, is picking up contrast equal to, almost close to equal to our technology, but yet, when it comes to these, it's not even pulling up. See that? I'm going to pause that for a minute. You see that right there? See this? See all that blends in right there? It matches our technology. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to do a demonstration on a straight black screen saver. So I'm going to come over here, like I said, and I'm going to be doing some movie demonstration just showing you that this is the reason why you need contrast. You're watching Batman. What do you think is going to happen if you watch Batman on that screen? I'm going to put up a black screen saver. Alright, so here we are. Loading in. A black screen saver at the bottom. 10 hour black screen saver. Let's see what we pull up. Now black screen saver is running right now. You're not gonna see it. You will never ever see this on these screens. They can't pull it up. And you can tell the screen's on because you can see the light line outline right there. Now if I were to take this away from our screen, we'll set this right over here, like so, and we take our Elite Dark Star 9, I'll put that right there on the screen, all right? We have a black screen saver playing. See it now? 
our technology produces a higher black level than an elite dark star 9. Need I say any more? So you're talking about a Supreme 7 that has the ability to produce a high contrast, of course, so the screen's black, but like I said, contrast is everything. Now I can take that screen and I can put it against this personal mix or whatever mix and you're just going to get the same thing. You're going to get an elite screen is going to be to pull up a much better contrast. You lay it against our technology, our technology pulls up a higher contrast. Alright. Pause it there and look at the white levels. Nice and beautiful as usual. That's what it's supposed to be. Alright, so. We'll take off, I wouldn't even dare put this near the screen because it's, it's just not going to, see this, what is this, it's just not going to, it's, it's not going to show up, there's no point. So what we'll do is, we'll take the Dark Star 9 and we'll stick this against the Metallica, this is the, I think a 2.0, 2.0 Metallica mix, that's what it is, I can show you right there. Pull back the demonstration again. This is a dark gray screen. As I said before, black screens and gray screens are designed to draw in more, um, to be the, produce better images in a fully lit environment. But you will never achieve black contrast on these screens. Never. I know some of you are going out there and you're buying expensive projectors because you figure, hey, if I get this expensive projector, it has, I have talked to customers, it's got a 12,000 to 1, it's got a 10,000 to 1, it's got a 20,000 to 1 contrast ratio. I'm going to get real true black levels. They want that OLED TV kind of look. That's what they want. You're not going to get it. You will never get it. The how, see how beautiful an OLED looks? See how the colors pop? Because of that black um, um, LED um, um, tube they got in there, or LCD screen they got in there. That's why. That's why, it looks that gorgeous. Well, you can't get that from a gray screen. This is a dark gray screen. Sit right in front of my projector and show you. That's a dark gray screen. But that's what you're really getting. The only way you can achieve some kind of uh, some kind of picture is you're gonna have to sit in the dark. I may have too much light going on in the back. Yeah, I got too much light going on in the back, so I gotta come back here and take my lights out again. I need one switch for all my lights, I really do. Now from here, doesn't look that bad, does it? Let's walk a little closer to the screen. So this is what I mean by the only way you're gonna be able, even on a dark gray screen, the only way that you're gonna be able to achieve a somewhat black screen you're going to have to be in the dark to do it. Now if you know if I turn all the lights on, that Elite Dark Star 9 is going to pull up. But you can still see it right there. You can still see the screen right there. Now if I were to turn on one light in here. One light, that's it. One light, that's all I got on here is one light. 
That's how fast that screen will start to fade out. Look at the Elite Dark Star 9. Look at our technology, a Supreme 7. Even a Superior pulls up contrast. Now our screen is going side by side to an Elite Dark Star 9, which is a $3,000 screen just for a 100 inch. What you really getting? What are you really getting? You gotta ask yourself that question. What are you really getting? God forbid if I turn on all these lights in this environment, well, that screen's going. It's not even there anymore. See the angle gain on that? Both of these screens here and here, elite in our screens, are black. When it comes to contrast. Throwing some bright, beautiful colors. There we go. Now that's how high the white level is on our technology. Pretty sure the Elite thought about this too, on being able to produce a high white level. But keep in mind, the Elite Dark Star 9 screen is actually a kind of a dark gray. Our screen is literally black. You want to talk about technology, you got to be the back of what you can say. I can match my screen against high tech screens with no problem whatsoever. Can you do it? I can do it easily. That's what I ask people. You want to basically come down on our technology, all you got to do is just match the exact same demonstration. That's all you got to do. How about this? How about we go over here, knock our lights out again, get a little workout here. Knock our lights out again, all right? And we'll put it in the dark. For those of you who love to have your screens in the dark, let's put it in the dark. Because everything works well in the dark. Now there's our screen right there. There is the Metallica mix, which is a darker mix. Tell me where it ends, tell me where it begins. Now, like I said, you can make any screen look good when you turn the lights on. The minute the lights come on, you start seeing the difference. You see it now when we get it close? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. People say our technology is too dark. Hmm. That's interesting. So if my technology is so dark, how come it's blending in with the Metallica mix, which is a dark screen? But if we come over here and we hit the star field, what do we get? Now let's be fair. Some say, what's not fair? We'll be fair. We'll take all our lights again. Doing again, knocking lights out for you. We'll take it out on this side. This time we had it on that side. And we'll take this light out also. So we got one light on, on this side. What do we got? Can't produce contrast. Dark gray screen, like I said, can't produce contrast. That's a Dark Star 9. Put it against our screen. And it has a 0 0.9 gain.
surprise. A bit shocked there, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. At a 0 0.9 gain, our screen has a 7, a 7 gain in technology, and yet we're actually laying right up against a Dark Star 9. Do you need me to get closer? Do you need me to get closer? Do you need me to get closer? Alright, got a 60 millimeter lens on here, like I said. Boom shakalaka. It's a lot of things we don't show you from the door when it comes to my technology. There's a lot of things I don't show you. It's a lot of tests and demonstrations that I do that a lot of people don't realize on what this technology can pretty do can do. Compared to our supreme technology, compared to our superior technology, it's a lot of things you don't know what this technology can do. But as I always say, take the time, go on the internet, find out who's doing the same demonstrations we are. You won't find any. Thank you for your time. Gotta go and God bless.